Okay. Hi, Matthew and Hannah. How are you doing? <laughs> good. Yeah. How are you? Good. Good. Thank you. So thanks for joining me. Um, I know you guys are in Pittsburgh right now. Uh, and you have some little kids. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself and where you're from um, and about your family a little bit? Yeah. Uh, we are from different parts of the country, but pretty close to each other. I'm from New Mexico, Colorado area. Hannah's and, from Nebraska. Yeah, I'm from Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we um, uh, have been married for four years as of like a week ago. Um, and um, yeah, we're currently living in Pittsburgh. We have two kids. Um, Three-year-old Leo mm -hmm. and Cyril, one, just one years old. Yeah. And um, we are uh, working for a church here and um, yeah, just uh, trying to live according to God's will. So. Yeah, I, I met Matthew and Hannah when they were focused missionaries in um, in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Um, and can you guys kind of describe, well, first of all, how you met, how you met, I know, and then uh, sort of your journey with focus, because um, I know you're with focus for a while, so. Yeah, yeah uh, well, we met in focus. We were both focused missionaries, and we met at summer training, um, which at the time we were all of us in um, Ave Maria, Florida, and now they are in like multiple locations. Um, and um, yeah, we were, uh, I was working at the headquarters in Denver and he was in Cape Girardeau. <laughs> and so um, when we got engaged, I was able to work remotely from Cape Girardeau that we could live in the same city together so that not together <laughs> on the same block almost. um yeah so that we could live in the same city you know before living in the same house together forever <laughs> so um so that was great um yeah it was, uh, it was good she is well you know when she noticed me at training i was irresistible to her um <laughs> That's what I tell myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was um, it was a blessing to to be able to, you know, uh, training to so many missionaries, and so there's a lot of people who find their spouses there because people really love the Lord and they're excited about their faith and sharing it with others. And um, so we're just really, really blessed to to have that. Um, and you asked also about our what was it our um, missionary journey? Is that what you said? Yeah, time and focus. So like I've I've. I'm inspired by families who are kind of on mission together. And I think you guys are an example of that, of where your, your married life is not only, uh, you know, a service within itself, like showing God's love within the family, but you're also on mission to others, like sharing the gospel. Um, so yeah, I know maybe can you talk about how that went through focus and then what you did after focus and how it's led you to where you are right now? Yeah, um, well, we both found the faith in college um, through focus um, in a large part and through our priests and campus ministries in some way. Um, I went to school at Colorado State and Anna went to Loris College in Dubuque, Iowa. Um, I came to know focus through college and in that I, uh, it was after I encountered the Lord and I just knew that I wanted to be a missionary I saw what the focus missionaries were doing, you know, serving college students. And I was like, I want to do that. I just want to bring Christ to people and bring people to Christ. And so um, joined focus and got to serve at Southeast Missouri State where I met Nick um, and then um, met my wife, Hannah, here this um, on, uh, in Florida, as we had mentioned. So, um, yeah, it, it, being on mission as a single person was really um, a cool experience because you could give so much in that way. But when we got mm -hmm. married, we've gotten to explore that, and we'll talk about more about that later. But yeah, so I also discovered Focus um, in college, but didn't really get super involved until my senior year. Um, of course, I had very good missionaries who were very good at being persistent and asked me like 
every week to come to Bible study until I was finally like, okay, fine, I'll come. <laughs> um, but it paid off because it was through that Bible study and through a spiritual director who like led me to um, just start praying with scripture more regularly through the combination of those two things. That's what really like led me to even consider being a missionary with focus. And um, long story short, I, I uh, felt called to become a missionary. I, at first, I totally rejected the idea. I was like, I'm not cut out to be a focused missionary. <laughs> um, like, yeah, I, yeah, anyway. Um, but it was totally in God's plan. Um, and he made that very clear. Like he, yeah, gave me a lot of signs that this is that this was definitely his will for me, um, which is a story for another time. Um, but yeah, getting to be on mission, I was at Northwestern in Chicago and focus isn't there anymore, but it was really interesting because it was so different from where I had gone to college, but it was, um, I mean, it was exactly where I needed to be. And um, the students there were, um, were were awesome they were great to get to know and share the love of god with and um yeah and then as a married couple um so yeah then it shifted obviously for me i worked in the headquarters which was like a different kind of mission getting to work in the back side of things and helping plan seek and sls um and then met matt and we were dating through that year and um yeah, and it was so interesting how our mission changed as we became, um, as we were married, you know, like, um, like I was still working remotely for the events team as we were at Pitt, um, but I was still half working on campus and like I led Bible study, I had like a couple women I was, um, that I had in discipleship, uh, but yeah, it just looked different also just because like my role had changed not only with focus, but like, like in marriage because my focus was now to be on our family because we got pregnant pretty quickly. So it was to be, um, yeah, like how, how am I on mission within my own family first and then giving myself also to focus or or whatever. And then, um, sorry, I don't know, you can go into that. No, more, but, but yeah, and then um, <laughs> fast forward to when I was actually a mom, I really felt my mission actually change mm -hmm. as I was meeting other young moms. And um, a lot of other young moms, like, you know, like, it, I was branching out of like the Catholic, like Newman Center <laughs> bubble mm -hmm. a little bit, not not a bubble. Um, but like the, cause the disciples I was working with, since it was only a few, so like, cause that's all I had the availability for. They were, a lot of times they were seniors. They were already like pretty well established in the Newman Center, which was awesome. And I'm still friends with, with those girls. Um, but yeah, at, at the same time, like I felt God shifting my focus to be on these new moms I was meeting and sharing life with them and sharing like the struggles, the day-to-day -day stuff um and yeah just like what comes with that like because being a new mom you can kind of feel pretty isolated and so you need like other people to let you know you're not alone and like these struggles that are happening um with you know your your child like you know what's going on with them and just talk about that kind of stuff and then as a result like the catholic side of me always like seems to come out and like my prayer like you know just yeah I always say like oh my husband's missionary and like you know that ends up leading to conversations and <laughs> yeah. um yeah so I ended up making a lot of like really like non-catholic non-religious mom friends and then I just felt like a natural desire to become a missionary like in a, in a way to these other new moms I was meeting yeah but, yeah anyway. I think that's cool because I think it really shows like that we're all called to be missionaries, um, whether you have the title or not, whether you work for a church or an organization or a ministry or not, it doesn't change anything really. I mean, 
you might not get paid for it, but you're still called to do it. Um, and there's such a joy in that. So I think you'd be able to find that, you know, in these other friendships and just leading people. Like as a full-time missionary, she's led far more people to Christ than I ever have because <laughs> when you got a kid and you have other moms, you can just hang out and talk <laughs> and watch your kids play. And dads don't do that. Um, and I was busy like working on campus, but she was doing the real work. So um, it's true. She, like she keeps in touch with these mom friends and the other the students that I've, I, I've worked with, I still keep in touch with some of them, but it's just, she's, you know, there's just a lot, of, I don't know, it's just been cool to see you do that. So um, eventually our mission though, led us to Austria. Um, so we left Focus, felt kind of called to do a different mission. Um, we wound up in Austria through a lot of prayer and discernment. And um, we were in Gaming, um, where Franciscan University has their study abroad program, um, where ITI was, Nick and I went to ITI. Um, and uh, I know they're in True Mount now, but, you know, uh, if you've never heard of ITI or whoever's listening, the International Theological Institute, Nick, I'm sure you can tell them more about it. Um, mm -hmm. But anyway, so we, um, we wound up there. We lived there for a year. Um, we worked with international students um, and uh, went on several mission trips and got to go on some pilgrimages to the Holy Land, um, mission trip to Eastern Slovakia, which was a whole adventure. Um, we probably don't have time to get into right now, but um, Belarus, um, where else did we go? I don't know, but it was, uh, it was, a, it was awesome. It was a great experience and um, getting to, to, to do missionary work with a different group of people, um, but still students, you know, they were still there to study. They were there to learn English and theology and catechesis. So we still led Bible studies for them and, and they, you know, we still were able to share life with them. And uh, I think it did a lot of good uh, for them just because God is good, not because we did anything profound or anything, but um, yeah. So that was our experience um, with focus uh, as a married couple. And then within Austria with working with the language and catechetical Institute um, uh, and, and the St. Cyril and Methodius center for evangelization. Um, and um then we eventually found our way back to Pittsburgh, felt called back here, where we're now working for uh, a Ukrainian Catholic church. Uh, my wife and I were Byzantine Catholic. And so um, that's one of the reasons we wound up in Austria. Um, and one of the reasons we um, came back to Pittsburgh um, is to live that faith out. And we found a job working with a Ukrainian Catholic priest and uh, his parish and being able to do evangelization. And I also work for Vagabond Missions um, part-time, which does inner city youth ministry and reaches out to kids in inner city areas. So that's kind of where we are now. And uh, it's been a good year, um, but definitely been, yeah, there's challenges in married life in serving in this way, but there's been so many graces and fruits as well. And, um, you know, really just getting to enter into the struggle. It's like, we have these small kids we live far from our family. There's not a lot of community coronavirus has struck the country and left us isolated in a lot of ways we're recovering from that and so finding God in the midst of all that and sharing him with our neighbors with our parishioners with people anywhere we meet them trying to our best to do that is kind of what we're doing now and um, trying to figure out what the next step is so well, close us in a prayer yes oh, let's uh, say a prayer to say a prayer to, to end this and the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, thank you for the graces you've poured upon us, for the gifts in the Holy Spirit. Please uh, send your Holy Spirit upon Nick and upon us and upon our family, upon all the people in the world who are in need of your mercy and your gospel, and upon all those who are missionaries. Let us all recognize our call to be holy and to be missionaries. And we ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you.